Hello, this is James Hendergaard with F5 Networks. Welcome to a new video podcast series entitled Best Practices for Deploying Microsoft Exchange 2010. Part 1 High Availability for Client Access. Did you know that the architecture for client access changed with Exchange Server 2010? Previously, email clients such as Outlook were able to access the user inbox by connecting directly to a mailbox server. This is no longer the case. Starting with Exchange Server 2010, all email clients, regardless of protocol, must connect to the Exchange Client Access Server, or CAS Server. This means high availability for client access is critical. If CAS servers are not available, users don't get their email. CAS servers are deployed in an array, providing increased availability and fault tolerance. Scaling CAS servers is accomplished by using load balancing solution. Customers have a choice between software and hardware load balancers. Microsoft recommends a hardware load balancer for most customers. Here's a short audio clip from Ross Smith, Principal Program Manager from the Exchange team, addressing his audience at TechEd Europe. As I mentioned before, you need a load balancing solution in order to deploy a CAS array, so you can have fault tolerance. There's one of two options, a hardware load balancer or a software load balancer. What we recommend is a hardware load balancer for most deployments. There are several reasons. High availability for client access is critical for every Exchange architecture. Contact us today to review your Exchange 2010 architecture. Dell and F5 are here to help.